What's up everybody, Low Tech, back at it again. Today we're looking at Android 10 on the Switch. We're specifically looking at Android gaming. So I'm going to be going through about seven Android games. I was really in pursuit or in search of uh, native controller support. Um, I had to throw in PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile, although the controller support is uh, not the greatest. I had to throw those in just to show that they run. But most of the games have native controller support without any playing around. Before we get into it, real quick, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoy the channel, please hit that subscribe button to help keep these videos rolling in. Now let's take a look at some Android gaming on the Nintendo Switch. So a quick note with uh, PUBG. The controller, the Joy-Cons won't work out of the box or by default. Um, there it was some alternatives, a lot of them were banned. And the new alternatives, there's a lot of poor reviews on it. So I didn't bother. But it does run, as you can see. But if you can only use the touch screen, it kind of defeats the purpose of doing it on the Switch. Because if you have a phone that's even halfway decent it'll run the game the same way the same way this switch does so but we had to try so here's the gameplay Here with uh, Call of Duty Mobile, it's the same thing. There, there is limited controller support, and some of the controller mapping programs that are available may or may not work. They have poor reviews. So, again, the game does run, but you can't use a controller. So, if the whole purpose is to use a controller and play it on the Switch, again, you can do this on your Android phone with the same results so kind of defeats the purpose but it is playable if you want it it will run So as you see, I'm not getting full controller support in this game. Triggers are not working. I do get a response from the other A, B, X, and Y buttons, but can't remap it, so kind of works. All right, this is Horizon Chase, and starting with this game, the rest of the games in the showcase, they all have full Joy-Con support.
right, well, there you have it. Android 10 games running on your Switch. You're going to have a large library of games that will have native controller support and will work with your Joy-Cons. Um, there will be games, though, that don't. Um, some of the ones that uh, didn't work for me, other than the ones that I showed you here, uh, Vendetta Online, Space Armada, Street Fighter 4 Champion Edition, Modern Combat 5, Infinity Ops. Uh, these are all games that I also tested that worked and they ran, but they didn't have Joy-Con support. So you needed to use the touchscreen. But they did run. They look good. So I would say the Switch is capable of running a lot of these modern Android games, which is awesome. So if you don't have a, a phone that has a better processor and internals than the Switch, then yeah, you, you got a device that now is the best of both worlds. You can play your Switch games. You can then go back to your Android. You can run emulators, play retro games. You can play your Android games. It's an awesome device, the Switch. With, with what you can do with it, it is an awesome device. So I highly recommend, if you can, picking one up. And with that, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I want to say thank you to everyone for watching, and have a good day.